Hey guys, uh, today we have a little bit of an off-the-cuff video. I've been approached by a lot of people over the last couple of months with problems with their brand new lasers, and I figured it would just be easier to have a video that we could reference so that you could see what we're talking about when we give you some troubleshooting steps. Leveling your bed to your head, right? Making sure everything is parallel is a big deal when it comes to setting up your laser because if it's angled so far that your lens is partially in focus and partially out of focus on different areas, um, it makes it very difficult to get consistent results. It makes it very hard to get everything properly in focus and get what you want out of an engrave consistently. So I'm gonna show you how I approach it on two different tower types, stay tuned. So as you can see, I'm working on the Makira here, uh, and this is mostly out of uh, convenience because it's really easy to adjust. And I'll show you an example of another one in a moment, but as you can see, this is loose because it's meant to articulate back and forth. Now with this angled down, this is several degrees tipped forward further than level than this. It's not going to be engraving appropriately because as you come down in focus, depending on what lens you have, this side of the lens closest to the front is gonna be coming into focus first. And as you go lower and lower on focus, it's going to center up into the lens. And this is gonna to start to come out of focus as the back becomes in focus. That's a problem when you're using more than a little bit of your lens. So what you need to do is you need to articulate this so this plane is level to this plane in both the front to back and the left to right orientation. So what we're gonna do is I have a big old level here and I'm going to make sure it's flat on the deck of my bed and I'm going to reference where it is. Now, it doesn't matter if your bed is level. You could be doing this sideways or upside down with it mounted to a wall, it wouldn't matter. The idea is you wanna find the angle that it's at, so you wanna get a reference point on your level as to where it is in each orientation and go from there. So I see where this is on here. Now what I wanna do is bring this up to the head and bring the head to the same position. Now once I have it in the same position, I'm gonna hold it there. I'm gonna reference it again just to make sure. And I'm gonna lock that into position. Now, this is great and all for an articulating head like this. Um, this is designed to be nice and easy like this. We'll talk about a different style tower in a moment. Understandably, this isn't the most common platform, but again, easiest to show you here. So now we wanna go in this orientation because again, we're dealing with multiple axes here. So we can also have a tilt in this axis. So I'm gonna reference where it is here and I'm going to bring it down here in reference and it's perfect. So in this case, there's nothing for me to change. If I did have to change it on this style head where there's no collar or neck that attaches the head to the path, I would have to open up the path, unbolt this, there's multiple bolts holding this in so that I could clock it, or I should say loosen the bolts so that I could clock it to get it level and then tighten them down again. You only wanna do that in the left to right orientation, the forward and aft orientation you wanna do here at the tower where it connects. Let's talk about another style. So in the case of this style laser, we have a neck or a collar here. It's called different things depending on where you're hearing them. On the back of this little neck, there's both bolts bolting it to the path and bolts holding the, the head to the neck. You can loosen those up in order to clock the head or pivot it left and right so that you don't have to do it here. You can do it just by clocking the head. Now that shouldn't change the orientation or the alignment with what you have going on with the path. It should only be clocking it. 
So you don't want to remove it. You don't want to wedge anything between the neck, the head, and the path to pivot any other orientation. It's only rotational left to right. When it comes to leveling things out with the path, you would want to basically do that with this type by shimming it because there isn't really a, a method, an easy method to get things to orientate properly this way if they're really far out. And that could happen because of weight or because of uh, bending, tweaking, cold and hot cycles. It could be for any number of reasons. Um, maybe you dropped it, but ultimately this is more about the mechanics behind why this type of issue is occurring and fixing it. So what I do with this is I use metal business cards and if it's tipped back too far, I will shim underneath on the back and if it's tipped forward too far, I will shim underneath the front. And I'm talking about the plate here between the path and the tower where it mounts to here. You can shim it at the base, but it's not really recommended because now you're shimming a lot more weight at the bottom versus shimming only what needs to be shimmed at the top. That's my recommendation. I've actually needed to shim this in the front here to bring things into balance for me so that everything is parallel to the bed, forward and aft and left and right. I did not have to tweak my head at all on this one. It's gonna be different for everyone. It doesn't mean it's a vendor problem. It's all about assembly and being bumped in shipping. And there's a lot of factors that come into play with this. So this is something that every individual person, regardless of how good or bad your machine is, is gonna to have to deal with potentially. Now with all that, I did want to note as well that there is another version of the, the neck version of the connector between the laser path and the head, and that will sometimes include a pinching ring in the center instead of having to loosen up the neck on either side of the head or the path. You can loosen up that pinch ring. It's just usually a single Allen bolt. You can back that off and usually uh, be able to rotate the head as much as you need to. There's actually a really good visualization of that in the video Alex did about aligning the RF tubes he did a while ago. I encourage you also to watch that video as well if you need to. And um, best of luck and hope this helps.